Peace, my family and my audience, my ascended masters, uh, my fellow uh, adept students, my fellow grandmasters, my fellow practices of magic. Uh, one of my favorite subjects to talk about off camera, you know, it's magic. Um, our ancestors were heavy into voodoo, witchcraft, sorcery, whatever you want to call it. Especially during um, uh, the so-called slavery era. And, and so much so that uh, we used, our ancestors used to do things to the slave master. And the slave master didn't know what the fuck was happening. So, um, like sprinkling salt with roots and just different things that we used to be able to do. Because we were aware of our powers and aware of... We didn't lose that connection as, you know, we wound up losing later on and throughout our, our years of being uh, educated in this system. You know, I don't want to sound uh, offensive about saying indoctrinated because people don't like that word. But that's it's basically what they do. You know, they program us and it, like we forget about everything that, you know, our ancestors their names, their spiritual practices, why they did these practices. And when then we we tap into the old McDonald who had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on a farm he had a chick. He, come on, man. You think a chick want to be on a fucking farm? No, he wants to be in nature. <laughs> so, but the way we get programmed to assume that that's um, normal and we accept it. And sort of like get desensitized. And our morals, you know, what we thought was wrong or what we knew was wrong winds up accepting it as right. And that's magic. That's power. So we're going to get into one of my favorite uh, classes. Uh, um, it's called Foolish Fish. Um, and that's what I mean about the fish. The fish don't see the hook. He only sees the bait. So you, you'll get where I'm coming from anytime you hear me talk about them. Or speak in in esoteric magic forms, cause I, I I I break spells, you know, put on myself. <laughs> so, all right, so we are gonna break some more spells right now by teaching y'all not all the secrets, cause you gotta learn that on your own. But that magic is real, you know. You got dark magic with what they call dark magic, and then you got what they call light magic, you know, and um. But it's all the same thing. It's all from the same source. <laughs> whatever, you know, your gods, you know, whatever energy and names that uh, we tend to put on it. So we're going to do. Uh, gateways through the light and shadows. No, we can't do that for y'all. Because, you know, I, I know a lot of people don't understand this or understand this information. So, cause I'm, I'm becoming aware of all my powers and our past and how to unlock the Christ energy within. All right. And that's doing rituals, magic, chanting, mantras, all these different things to bring you to that level, you know, and the language affects reality. I don't think y'all should do that yet. Um, politics versus magic. No, we're going to do what is magic, all right? Uh, can't do the whole thing, but this is from his perspective, fair use, you know? No reason to skip this ad because it's already over. Go viral with ytmafia.com. All right, fair use. Superpowers. I can help showing the world how living in Remember, nice magic is not real. So... This week's video has a rather newbie friendly well, people theme, get cast in spells every day. A good idea of what magic is. What is the first thing you learn in school? The video spelling. Sort of <laughs> what is magic? 
probably the most requested topic from the comment section of the video. And I think he's coming from the Babylonian. Well, it's a big topic. The Babylonian I mean, really sector of magic. Big I'm topic. coming from the Atlantic. It's a bit like asking what's IT? Nature. Where to even start? Side of what magic. to include? How much detail should I give you to give you an accurate idea, but still make it fit in a 15 minute video? So here's a disclaimer. Whatever I say here can probably be accurately contradicted one way or another with any number of exceptions or alternate ways of thinking about yeah. things. But hopefully it can be a starting place for people who are very new to the topic and want something to grasp a hold of. Uh, strategically located, well-defined landing or is it half as empty? it were, from where to safely go exploring for yourselves. And when you come back from your adventure with the eyes of experience, you'll see that the landing pad may not have been as stable as it originally looked, but it still allowed you to start your adventure. So That's right. let me start with a very general definition. I look Magic at that landing pad. is the study of the universe and then the practical use of that knowledge. See? But wait, isn't that science? I hear you ask. <laughs> science is the study of the Ooh, physical, let's talk material about it. aspects of the universe. It uses the measuring standards and implements of the material universe to observe the material universe. And it's extremely effective and extremely successful at doing so. So who's trying how you to look work at out how the material world works and who's not using I the scientific my method to science. It's like someone trying to take your temperature but refuses yeah. to use a thermometer. It's just the best tool for the job, and we should absolutely use it for its intended purpose That's discovering right. and manipulating the workings of the material wow. realm but magic posits that there's more to I can use some real magic and get people to fucking aspect. be and my fish but I don't do that is only useful for mapping a small part of it the material part of it Using the scientific method to try and map the non-manifest areas of the universe. It's like trying to measure how tall you are using come your back. bathroom scales. And I'm not ready and for no, that when I talk of... about the non-manifest yeah. universe, I'm not talking about Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy. I'm talking about consciousness. The collective unconscious. Infinite mind. why certain deities pop up in separate historical traditions which would have had no contact with each other. So yes, to reiterate, magic is the study of the universe and then the practical use of that knowledge. Now, what do I mean by practical use? Ritual. Well, a couple of things. First of all, one of the things that a magician Official. discovers early on is that the universe is mental. All uh, is mine! Whoa, well, the universe is completely mental. Although there is an argument to suggest that too. No, what I mean is that the universe is made of mind. All Most is scientists mind. assume, because it is an assumption, that the universe is material and that consciousness arises with the out of all. matter. The Akashic. If you get the right molecules in the right quantity and in the right order, that creates consciousness. The mass Magicians the assume that the basic building block of the universe is the consciousness mold, the stars, and that matter the arises out of and all the nine planets in my orbit. There's this theory I rather like, which proposes that the brain is a receptor of consciousness, like a radio antenna that tunes into see? consciousness. Look at that circle right there. Of consciousness, as you don't see suppose. the sun right there? So once this is your general everything comes out that from the you? universe prima materia is consciousness and not matter, a whole world of possibilities opens up to you. And phenomena which previously seemed paranormal suddenly make much more sense. For real. It also follows that if we're more than just a body and synaptic discharges in the brain creating the illusion of consciousness, then taking care... So imagine what our ancestors knew! ...totality of what constitutes the self is going to take more than just bodily hygiene and a yearly checkup with your dentist. It also stands to reason that while a medical doctor should be your best bet for curing ailments in your physical body, there may be other kinds of fixes for needed other doctors, for the non-manifest parts of yourself. Right? 
our chemical diet. Another practical use of the knowledge gained by these explorations may be a correction in our understanding of what we uh, are. Identifying entirely my people, with what magicians call the lower self, feeling your spirit, something is seen as an incomplete learning view let of go. reality. We're so much more than our bodies and our minds and our identities oh, sure. we and our circumstances. It. Those are all aspects of our lower selves, yes. I want you to get the this. The higher you climb up the levels of manifestation, the closer you get to the realization that everything is one. Thank you. The statement that we're in fact God. Oh, wait, wait, let me see what he's about to say. Sounds quite blasphemous to the novice's ear. But of course, if you consider yourself only to be the lower self, well, that certainly isn't what God is. Sure ain't. All right. So you got that. As above, so below. You know, you got your lower gods, your higher gods, your higher energy, your lower energy. And the things that we can trick ourselves to make reality, to fashion as reality. And uh, you could use lower, you know, your lower magic, whatever they say, or you could use your higher magic. And I, you, I choose to use my higher magic, you know, which is dealing with uh, generosity and, and, and fair exchange, you know. So fair exchange is never a robbery. One time for the one time, I'm hoping I'm able to put this up. Peace.